it's it's very different like uh, techniques you have to have here. Of course, of course, compared to high school, it's a bit more difficult. It's pretty difficult. My monthly expense is pretty minimal, I'd say. So my rent is around like six hundred. Comparing it to my home university, which is in Sweden, uh, I would say uh, it's it's very different like uh, techniques you have to have here because the exams are much shorter here. In Sweden, yeah. we do like five hour exams, but here they are like one hour exams. So you have to remember a lot of knowledge instead of maybe like always practicing. Of course, compared to high school, it's a bit more difficult and. And the, the content is also really dense, so you learn a lot of things here. Mm -hmm. um, but if you prepare and if you invest a lot of time in it, then it's always, um, you are always able to do mm -hmm. some great things. It's pretty difficult. Mm -hmm. um, like also computer science, um, they kind of, uh, yeah. like a lot of people start it and they like try to read out people. So. Yeah. I mean, I like my program, so I really do like it. Um, but the, like the exams can get harder sometimes. It depends from subject to subject. But I'd say in generally, like generally speaking, it's it's well, it's not that hard, but it's also not easy. So you really do yeah. need to um, invest some certain time in the, into your studies, and yeah. you really uh, have to want it to get at least a good scores. Yeah. You can you can pass them if you only study like mediocrely, but mm -hmm. if you if you want to pass it with good grades, then you really have to put some effort into that. Yeah. Usually I attend most lectures uh, online and then I just screenshot the, the lecture slides and then I take notes ah, from okay. what they <laughs> So it's not super... Yeah. I, I wish I had one of these like iPads. So um, concerning the notes, I usually take them um, during classes with my computer and I write things down on it. And for the exams, I usually uh, repeat all the courses I have and all, I read all my notes I have done. And I also um, try to... Um, yeah, do all the all the homework and so on, and that should normally be fine. So, like during the lectures, I always try to take notes, and then also I try to do uh, older exams. So mm -hmm. from the previous year, I feel like that helps me the most, and like exercises from the first. So I usually um, summarize the lectures and then highlight which parts I didn't really get or I should take a closer look into, and then uh, redo the exercises we got, the problem sheets we have. So um, that's how, usually how I revise for my exams, and but it depends on the um, on the course or on the subject. Mm -hmm. So if, if it's more like a math-based um, subject, I of course do more calculations, and if it's more like learning by heart, then it's of course more time just uh, yeah. studying my script and my summaries. I worked at a Norwegian company called Vixma uh, as a like project management intern. Yeah. So that was machine learning related. Okay, great. I after I um, graduated from from high school, I had a start in system. Yeah. No, I like came straight from high school. Ah, okay. Yeah, so I'm in my second semester, and I've had um, an internship for which lasted three months, and then I had three additional months in that same company. It was a, a online supermarket startup, and I worked in marketing there. So. I have analyzed um, some of the things we sold and how did certain products perform. Mm -hmm. That's basically my work experience which I had. So it's management and, yeah. and I also did social media kind of management mm -hmm. and I helped out to, um, to maintain those platforms and um, the uploading schedule and created some posts there. Yeah. Yeah. So my rent is around like 600 euros mm -hmm. and then I usually try to keep it under Thousand in total, I think. Mm, okay. But uh, I actually I haven't been so good at <laughs> yeah, that's, the monthly expense is pretty minimal, I'd say, because I live with my parents still. Mm -hmm. So I only have like expenses for getting food and and going out on the weekends and during the weekday. So I'd say it's roughly about 200, 250. Okay. So like my rent is pretty cheap because I live in a dorm, so it's 350 euros just. Mm -hmm. Um, and then for like groceries and everything, I think about yeah, 300 maybe. Yeah. I still live with my, with my parents, so I don't pay any rent. Mm -hmm. But um, concerning food and um, yeah, and using the train, etc., 
I think it would be around, around like 200 euros a month but of course if you would um, have rent um, or if you live in some places you have to pay additional like 400, 500 euros yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah.